Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do uh, our daily technical analysis of oil and natural gas. We'll take a look at everything. Uh, I do, it does look like some people are positioning in some of these exploration companies. So uh, let's take a look at the charts and I'll give you my financial opinion. So here we go. Uh, this is crude oil. We still have some selling pressure there. What happens is we 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 start to run and then the sellers come in and sell it off. We tried running today. Sellers came in and sold it off throughout the day. Uh, so we're trying to run, but we're not, we've, we still have this resistance uh, at $115. Uh, maybe someone's trying to hold this thing down. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, to me, it looks like someone's positioning in the companies themselves, but holding the crude oil price low. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, natural gas, just ripping it today. Uh, this is a bearish engulfing, and the buyers came in and bought it up today. So we'll see where this thing goes. It's a battle between the buyers and sellers. Um, I'm indifferent, guys. If we go lower, I'll buy more natural gas. If we go higher, I already own a bunch. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest, uh, which direction we go in the short, short term. Uh, but natural gas is kind of just battling back and forth at the moment uh, at, at a resistance line that's about right where it's at there. Uh, if I drew it in, it'd be somewhere in this range there that we're trying to break above. You can see Wix at the top. Uh, and if you draw this bottom guy in here, you're basically drawing another uh, wedge formation that is coiling up into a corner that we're eventually going to break, I think, uh, for natural gas, most likely to the upside, and we'll probably see a very big move. Um, XOP, yeah, you know me, continuing to go higher. Uh, we had the bearish piercing pattern yesterday, but uh, it looks like it wanted to go up a little bit uh, more today. Again, I'm not selling any of my shares. You can't have them. No one can have them, guys. But uh, obviously, if you guys want to go in and buy and push the share price higher, that's up to you. But uh, we've had a pretty big run here off this, this area. Um, so I'm just holding on to my shares. I'm not really doing much with buying at this moment in XOP. SM Energy, uh, we've had this nice big run. This is a reversal pattern, but the sellers really didn't want it here. So it's going to be interesting to see where this thing heads. Uh, looks good though. We have broken out of this long-term resistance line to the upside. Are we going to get a return move back? Sometimes they do that, sometimes they don't. Uh, what I'm going to do is absolutely nothing. I'm going to sit in my shares and do nothing. CDEV, another one uh, that I have as a large position. And we are moving on up with CDEV. We're back within uh, the pattern and that looks good. We had a little detour here with the Strategic Petroleum Reserve release news, just gave us a better buying opportunity. And hopefully people on the website, the Platinum members, uh, was talking about this one down in this vicinity. So yeah, looks good. Crew energy continuing higher. This is a beast. And uh, again, I'm not doing anything with my shares, just holding on to it. Uh, long term though, we continue to move on up. It looks really good. Uh, we do have resistance right where we're at. Uh, this green line is right here at this resistance area back here. We've got resistance through here and through here. So we're going to get a little bit of a stickiness as we come up through that area. CPE, another one that's getting through this sticky area. The green line is right where we had lots of trading before. And we've got a, we're starting to break out. Uh, here's us breaking on out of that resistance area, and we still got to break through all this garbage resistance area. But uh, looking good, looking good. Athabasca oil moving higher today, looking solid. Uh, we've got recaf, small little pullback today. We've got CPG moving on up a little bit. Uh, we've broken out of this sticky area. Uh, big picture view, we are working our way higher here. We've got a little bit more stickiness through here before making the big moves on higher. Northern oil and gas, getting a little bit of selling pressure uh, throughout yesterday and a little bit today, but we're not getting whomped to the downside. Again, I'm not really buying up here uh, at this little area up here. Down in this area is where I was getting pretty, uh, pretty bullish, but that looks good. Uh, GTE, looks like we could have a little bit of a topping action. I don't know if we'll get a pullback out of it or not. 
Uh, Tellurian, we had a down day, but the buyers came in and bought it back up throughout the day. That's why it's a green candlestick. It's still looking okay. Uh, we've got Pedevco moving higher. Uh, nice, good bullish engulfing. Probably going to work our way up. Uh, Oasis moving higher. That one looks really good. Uh, CRK still does not want to pull back, but you know we're continuing on higher. Looks good. Uh, Sandridge moving on higher. Uh, for today, we have a bearish engulfing yesterday, so we'll see what happens. The buyers and sellers are battling it out up here. We've got Ring Energy uh, moving on higher above support. I really like right where it's at. Uh, we've got C ZPTAF moving on up with a little bit of momentum coming back down. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy basically getting a little bit of stickiness right where it's at. Uh, Crescent Energy moving on higher here. We've got Vermilion Energy coming up to resistance through this area. We'll see if we can break through it. And then we've got Meg Energy uh, getting a little bit of selling pressure there. Looking at the energy service companies, uh, again, we'll see if we can break through all this. Uh, what it looks like is we're coming to, this is logarithmic, we're coming to this line. We get a little bit of stickiness there, and then we look to our left. And to our left, we do have a little bit of trading action that's happened before. So we might have a little bit of stickiness through here as we work our way up. Uh, Tetra Technologies having a monster day up uh, 9%. Bullish in, it's a bullish uh, pattern above its support line. Uh, this support line is an intersection of a bunch of different things all happening here. Non-logarithmic is there. Uh, logarithmic is the blue line coming across here that we got to break through, and that's right where we're at. Looking at Transocean, um, we'll zoom in on it. It's just moving sideways. Uh, pump, getting pumped up a little bit. Uh, we'll see which way this thing goes. Again, I'm not not really a buyer at this particular time at this you know this section in here. I'm waiting to see where we go. I already own a bunch of all these things, so I'm kind of just sitting and holding. Uh, EXTN moving sideways. We've got Valeris getting a little bit of buying pressure. Again, we are starting to break out of another pattern that's going. Uh, so if you guys were part of the website. Uh, you guys know my opinions on Valeris. Uh, MRM, another one that's moving higher. That one looks really good. I've said that every time, I think. <laughs> Tidewater getting bought up today, looking good. We've got Next Steer Oil Field Solutions moving sideways right underneath that uh, resistance line. Uh, KLXE, a uh, little bit of an update today again. We're right at that resistance line. You can see it go across. Lots of trading and a strong resistance line bouncing off a lot of this area right where we're at. So we'll see if we can break through it and move on up. CHX, just moving sideways at the resistance line. Uh, we've got Cactus Energy moving higher, that looks good. Uh, nine moving higher, and that's right at a resistance line that we need to break. OII, moving on higher, looking good. We've got Noble Energy, uh, just basically moving sideways. Momentum wise, at least. Uh, Helix Energy Solutions moving on up. That looks good. Uh, we've got Petrofac down a little bit. Still looks fine. McCoy Global uh, and Diamond Offshore. Diamond Offshore just moving sideways for the most part. Uh, but overall, guys, the oil and natural gas look really good. Um, we are sitting on top of patterns. We are breaking new patterns. And I think we'll just continue to move higher over time uh, as we're in this energy crisis. Uh, again, I haven't sold anything from my purchases before. I'm not moving things around. I'm just holding on to my shares, riding it higher. Uh, I have added into a lot of the. I have added into a lot of companies. Uh, the companies I've added into have been a lot and far across, and a whole bunch of different um, ones that I've held. So I'm pretty beefed up on the oil and natural gas uh, sectors. I've got a lot of uranium too, and those are my heaviest sectors with. Um, royalty companies are pretty uh, pretty heavy in the, into those. Uh, and then we've got shipping, which is trailing quite a bit. Uh, Rare Earth Metals is trailing quite a bit. And those types of companies are trailing in my portfolio holdings in relationship to energy. But uh, if you guys like the content, give me a thumb up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to the website if you want to, uh, the Platinum membership. Uh, we'll do a, a call coming up this weekend. It'll probably be later in the day Sunday. And I'll add that to the to the website. 
Uh, so it'll be Sunday, uh, maybe at like 5, 5 p.m. or something like that. Uh, but that's all I've got for today, guys. And uh, we'll catch you later. This is Finding Value.